we cannot discuss anything about the burial of our late king. Now, that is because we have culture and tradition in this land. What would you have me do? Now say. The best option is to commit him to Mother Earth. Not just like that, my queen. Not like that, not just like that. Our king is not just any other person. He was a revered king. A revered king. We must bury him according to tradition. Of course. Your reign as the queen of this kingdom expires after 30 days. That's one month from the demise of the king. Is you. Princess Adure, the first daughter of our late king, is still single. And because of this, she cannot have access to the throne. But until she gets married. That is tradition. My sister Adure will be getting married to King Jordan of Ubudu Kingdom very soon. Very well then. Very fine job. Well, she can be a queen. You go to the king at the same time, you queen in the Roman kingdom. It's not possible. She has to choose one. Oh, that's not possible. If Princess Cambry, who is also the other of the second queen, gets married before her, she will lose her right to the throne. Ichendukwe, whoever between the two that fulfills the condition as related on the appointed time will ascend the throne. Well, the same person will bury the king. Uh -huh. My elders, I think it's high time you left. I don't know where all these are coming from. The royal palace, this royal home, needs rest. Your Royal Majesty, there is. I have spoken. Our Queen, you cannot ask the elders to leave this palace. Huh. Even when this critical matter is at hand. I'm still the Queen. I still have one month to rule this kingdom. Now listen, all of you. I do not want anyone to visit uninvited. For clarity's sake, what my mother is saying is that henceforth, no more visiting without invitation. My queen will have you loud and clear. Ndiche. Hello. Ndiche. Hello. According to her uh, popular adage, any woman that her team makes noise during meeting, he has the noise with her ears. You had our queen. But Queen I, <laughs> we will leave you and leave the palace like you desire. Mana, when there is a very important need for us to be in this palace, our palace, we will come here. Eh? Yes. For now, every meeting in this palace is shut down until we have a new queen. Let us go. Thank you for keeping it straight. And thank you for understanding. Get out, all of you. Mom. That Onowu of a man sure have some nerves. Like I always say, one thing at a time, when his time comes, <laughs> I will place him in his rightful position. One month. I still have one month to marry or marry some people. For now, 
I need to think. Mom. Mm -hmm. Adure cannot become queen in both kingdoms. That will never be possible. She must let me take one. You're going to be the future queen of Orumba Kingdom. You don't need to bother about that. I don't see that happening, Mom. Because your daughter's action says otherwise. What did you see? She wants to become queen in both kingdoms. You don't need to bother yourself. As soon as Adure gets married to King Jordan, she will lose interest in becoming the queen here. Just buckle your sandals. Whom you have to contend with is Kambili. Not Adore, your sister. If Kambili crosses my path to the throne, I will crush her. Kambili is not my problem. My problem is your precious daughter, Adure. And I understand that she's my elder sister, Mom. But if she dares try to stop me, I will crush her as well without thinking twice. Like I said before, buckle your sandals. You have Kambili to contend with, not your sister. You know, I'm happy you're my daughter. I am happy that you and your sister Adure are buying clarity to my vision and mission. You know, you remind me so much about me when I was younger. Everything about royalty. Mm -hmm. It's here. And I slice it, mm. ties it, piece after piece until I get where I am. I'm happy you're my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now listen, Adure is not your problem. Be ready to contend with Kambili. Hmm? What stupid relation is that? That we, the elders of this kingdom, will not come to the palace before that notice. <laughs> Who is she? Look at my opinion. It's actually you know. My elders, look at, look at my opinion. Let's just calm down and follow her gradually. Let me tell you this one. Eh? She already knows that she's in a very hot seat. She already knows that she's in a very hot seat. Let's leave her. She has our ancestors to contend with. She has just insulted us and at the band she takes it back. Yes. Who oh, no, knows what you when? Hey, do you win? I will make sure that that woman has her hey. ancestors to contend with. 
Hey! What kind of embarrassment is this? What is so many embarrassment? Why are those things happening at the same time? Huh? Why are we having this embarrassment? White man, listen to me. Where are you from? Oh, white man. When did he start having oh. mad people in this our community? Oh. Eh? Food. Oh, stop. Food. Money is not good. Where are you from? I am sure that you are not from this village. Who are you? Are we are more than your father? Will you stop that nonsense and stop this nonsense? We are food, talking about better things as she's just. It's in the way. We are talking of how the behavior of the queen in the palace. We are talking about mad person. Look at what, 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 what. Is it important here? My question is this. Why is it that the daughter, the queen, all the daughter was not in that meeting? Why was she excluded? I'm worried over that. Each year, one thing at a time. Let this. I said, who are you, my friend? Get out from here. Oh, we Get don't have money. money. Go. We don't have money. We go. Hey, you want money? Just go. You want money? If you have money, give him. Stop the sad my friend. Come, 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 come. Where my come? Take, take, take money. Take money. Ah! Don't fight anybody. Mommy. You cannot go, go, go. Don't fight with anybody. Hey, are you hearing me? Just be peaceful in this community. Hey, my fellow elders. So, like it shared, Ibekwe was saying before we were massively interrupted by this white man. Huh? Ha! Winagata has just insulted us, and I demand she takes it back. Like I told you, she has the gods of her ancestors to contend with already. Now, it is now clearly spared out to me that all I must know that you are talking about. Yes. Kambiri, Princess Kambiri. Yes. Was intentionally shot out of the meeting. Good. Eh? Good. But meanwhile, <laughs> we must also say everything here. Let's go back home. Hey. I know why they shot her away from that. Why? Your services are no longer needed in this palace henceforth. Your jobs have been terminated. Um, um, my princess, please, if we have actually offended you in any way, apologies. Please, shut up. My princess, you can't be treated with such cruelty. We have been diligent in our service. Yes, my princess. Yes. Did you not hear me say shut it? On your knees, all of you. Three of you. On your knees, I said! If you ever talk while I am talking, I will chop off your heads and feed them to the dogs. Are we clear on that? What is going on here? I asked them to leave as instructed mother. And why are they still kneeling? Hey, you. You should be gone by now. What are you still waiting for? Oh, wait. Um, would you like to work with our pay? Oh, really? You don't want to do free jobs, but you want to eat my food freely. You're an idiot. Now be gone and never to return. Yes, sir. Ah! Fools! I think I don't know your hair spy numbers. Ex fools. It's actually good they left, Mom. Because they were talking while I was talking. And that is awful. Tell Adore. 
to scout for another guard some maids. We need new stewards around. Not those. That will be two timers spying in and out of the palace. I will not take that. They are happy I didn't chop off their heads and fit it to the birds of the earth. Your Majesty, I am here on behalf of my brother, the Jeffa. He couldn't come because of circumstances beyond his control. We want to know why your daughter, Princess Adure, opted out of marrying our son, Ekene. If I may hear you clearly, you came to ascertain why my daughter opted out from the marriage plan. We take any delicious for your nephew. Right? Yes, Your Majesty. And I also came to sympathize with the royal house over the death of our king. That is why I came with this wine. Um, what, what is that your name again? Your Majesty, my name is Nze. Nze. To pity, Nze Kono Bigi. And get up and leave. Your Majesty. I hate insulting adults. Get out. Your Majesty. Get out. Throw me out of Please. Huh? about? Which marriage are we talking about? Why do they think my daughter will settle for that thing? Emara, I don't know how to say Scandal will be faring now. You know, she was very depressed when we left the palace. Yes, I noticed it. I really do feel for her. You know she's yet to recover from the death of her mother. Now her father, the king. What surprises her. me is the non-talent attitude of her sisters. My dear, you know, like I will always say, I will always say the truth. It doesn't matter if I was Princess Adure's former chief maiden. It doesn't matter. They weren't even disturbed about the king's death. Amara, they weren't. Amara, please, let's reduce our voice. Because what they say is half years. Ah, that's true, I was carried away. But what they are doing is really no good. I understand. Anyways, and was it, did, we, did we just say anything? No, 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 we said nothing. Uh -huh. okay? just please, just let's something. get to that woman should and get what they Okay. Say. You're speaking to Her Royal Majesty, the great queen of Urumba Kingdom. I will not take no for an answer and I give you 24 hours to be done with that. What? Mom, mm -hmm. could you imagine that that pig that calls herself Kambili is still sleeping by this time of the day? What? And what did you do? Nothing. I said I should come and tell you first because it baffles me that she still sees herself as a princess in this palace. How? How possible, mom? I authorize you to beat her to stupor. She's a slave and must serve all of us, all of us, for the rest of her life. You are not just the best, mom. You are her royal majesty, the reigning queen of our kingdom, the strongest of them all. Mm. I will not only do that, I will cut off her disgusting ears and make sure I feed her with them. That is what your daughter would do. In addition to that, make her work. Work? Work! Work! And work! Mm. She has to clean all the cars, okay? Wash the dirty dishes, mm. dirty clothes, even the rags around. If she proves stubborn, <laughs> report her to me. 
That is not even enough, Mom. Because I'm going to make her clean the whole compound. What nonsense. What stupid bother that she... Listen, you have to forget about that girl. You must. Huh? Insulting my brother? Oh, okay, suppose I were there myself. They would have insulted me too. No, is that it? Listen to me. Forget about that girl. And that is final. Please. You are not going to marry her. Papa, I cannot get that girl off my mind. I can't forget her. I can't. What? Can't you see this whole thing is driving me mad? Eh? What Princess Adura did to me is not fair. It's not fair. And this, this, is, this is really hurting me. Papa, I can't forget her. I can't. It's not fair, Papa. It's not. Papa, Princess Adure has ruined my life. She has ruined my life. Let me tell you, I'm your father. I'm your father. I am telling you, out of experience, that with time, you are going to meet a woman that will actually see you for who you are. Read your heart and take you as a brother, a husband, and a father. Yes. Forget about Princess Adure. Listen, you are even lucky. This is happening now. Ah, hey. Supposing these stupid things begin to unfold when you are already married, where would I leave you? Yeah? Papa, Princess Adura is pregnant for me. Pregnant? Yes. I am certain and I, 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 I can feel it. Ojofo, <laughs> I'm Mekwe. Yeah? That means we have to go to the palace and tell them. I'm not going there. No. I will not go there to insult myself uh, until I know exactly the true situation. Hmm? No, it's your fault. You don't play with this. We must go to the palace and announce this to them. If you're not going, definitely I'm going to go with him. Okay, eh? We must go together. We will go. Yes. We have to go. How can you be telling me to, to forget about her? She, she's pregnant for me. It's not possible. I, 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 can she just leave me like that for, 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 no, for, no, for no good reason? What, what's the problem? Thank you for please. Mom. Hmm. I do report them. She said they are very professional. Equal to the task and loyal to their job. I see. I'm not seeing any corporate in them. You, what do you want? Do you need new guards? Yes. But I don't like this one. Which one? This one. You, get out. Will you shut your mouth up? Out! Get out! And you, what's your name? Divine, Your Majesty. Divine? Listen, you must obey my daughters and I. Our words should be authority to you. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Most importantly, you must not let that thing you saw outside washing the cars out of this palace at all costs. I repeat, you must not let her leave this palace. Are we clear on that? Yes, my princess. And your core duty is to serve us and us alone. Yes, my princess. Your Majesty, I still have some vital people that are equal to the tax that I can actually refer to you to do the job. You can trust me on this. Shift, shift. Sorry, Your Majesty. This one. Let me see this one. Okay, Your Majesty. Resume today. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
And um, hey, when next you're coming, make sure you look better. You stink. Please, my princess. Get out. Hey. Are you sure about him? Okay. Let's try him. Well, uh, Mom, mm. the elder said that I cannot become the queen because I am not the other. Is it true? So much. You worry too much. When we get to that bridge, don't bother on how to cross it. All I want now is for us to marry. I need beetroot, carrot. I need it well blamed. No milk, just eyes. Tell her to do that. I need to quench my taste. Mm. You can see my stomach. I want to read. Why is this man so bitter? I am surrounded with evil people. Has not enemy. else you have something else coming. You know what? 
that I am going to pull and you will be eaten by pool. That's what you will have for today. You heard my sister, right? You are not going to eat anything like food. You will feed on my sister's pool. That is what you little swine deserve. Listen to me. I don't have time for this nonsense, this shenanigans. Listen to me. If I come back here and you're not done with this washing and taking care of my bedroom and cleaning up the palace, I'm going to be feeding your soul to the octopus in the ocean. You Swahili ancient Egypt. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, my brother is at the airport. Are you going to pick him up? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll meet you guys at the airport. Yeah, bye. There is a madman constituting nuisance at the gate, and no one seems to be doing anything about it. Tell those guards to throw him out. I do not entertain grief rouse in my kingdom. I'm the queen, the sunshine of Urumba kingdom. I've spoken. My words are all there. Go. Haro, your majesty. My beautiful mommy, the womb that bettered me, <laughs> consider it done. No one dares challenge me. Not here, not even in their dreams. Because my words are law in this kingdom. Go tell them. Just as you please. Oh, Majesty. <laughs> I think I'm going to handle the issue of that lunatic myself. Because as teaching time does say, saves nine. Oh, I want to sink it on this. Look at why you're balloon. Oh. Mom, what is the matter? Are you overheard you shouting? Kambili, she dares try to give my foot to that lunatic. What? If not that I caught her right-handed, she would have denied it. It's high time we thought that swine the lesson. What is it? Give your foot to a lunatic? Of all the food in this palace is our royal majesty's food. Good. Keep an eye on that girl. She's biting more than she can chew. We need to clip her wings more. One step at a time. Whatever you do, don't let her die. One step at a time. One damn step at a time. Where is the man? He's gone. Gone? Where did he go? Ah, but I asked him to wait for me. I just went inside to get him food. Go back to your duty post. Please, can I... Can I just check outside? Because I know he might be waiting for me around the corner. Let me just look. I said go back to your duty post. Now! Please, now. Hey, Georgia, why are you doing this? Don't you have a conscience? I'm sure you know we are under the executive order from the Queen. 
and she will not be happy seeing you here. I will suggest you leave this place this minute. Okay, or John now. Eh, please, I'm begging you in God's name. Let me just look. Eh, use your heart, please. It won't take anything from you now. Just check. Just now, now. Come back inside. Please. What are you talking about? I cannot delete you. Are you joking? Why would you say that my daughter is pregnant for you? You're not certain about that, are you? Your Majesty, with due respect, we have come in peace. And we are here to look for a solution to the matter. Hence, your daughter, Princess Adure, have rejected the proposal of our son this minute. So? So? Listen, my daughter is a regent queen. She knows the law of the land and the consequences of being pregnant before wedlock. What are you talking about? How could you prove this? How can you prove it? Your Majesty, Princess Adure told me in confidence that she's likely to be pregnant. I mean, she was throwing up and also having high fever. And when I asked her to see the doctor, she was so sure she's pregnant. See, look, I do not want issues. I just want results from the doctor. Can you hear yourself talk? You sound like a lunatic. You sent someone to a doctor and the doctor couldn't provide result and you're asking me for the result. You are so sure. It was just a high fever. Why don't you call the doctor you sent her to, to resent her and the check? If my daughter is not pregnant for you, I will sue you and your miserable family. Now get out. Highness, we are not here for quarrel. We are here to make peace. I said get out. I don't want to lose it! Get out! Let's go. 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 Let's Sense. Look at her. Just look at her. You are sure. How could you be sure when you are not a doctor? Fools. Work on your profile before you're looking for royalties to settle with. Idiots. First two go. First three to come. Uncle. Did you just see the way Princess Campbell is dressed in her father's palace like a slave? Did you see that? Hey! Hey, Kenna, my son. I saw that. I am very surprised about that. Uncle, look. There's something seriously fishy going on. I think so. And we have to get to the root of this matter. Sure! Oh, let's, leave. Gonna... let's leave, please. Hey! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your Majesty, I thank you for the special package that you give to me and to the other cabinet. I know and I'm very happy you always have our kingdom in your mind whenever you travel to the white man's land. Ichioka, as the ruler of this kingdom, I always have the kingdom in mind. <laughs> Your Majesty, I thank the gods for leading you safely from the white man's land to this our great kingdom. You see, you see, it was, very, it was a very smooth journey. Your Highness, I beg to take my leave. It's okay. <sighs> I regards to everyone in charge. I am sorry for the death of your father. It's okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is so horrible. My heart goes to your family, my dear friend. 
I am grateful. Thank you. It's okay. Um, I'll leave the both of you to have a good moment. I'll be in my room. So you let me know before you leave. Okay, I will. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. So that reminds me. You have a stepsister, right? Yes. What about her? You know, um, I've always heard about her. I want to see her one of these days. Oh, please. Kambili is a wayward child. You don't need to meet her. She's either parting from one state to another with her irrelevant friends, or she's somewhere drunk or smoking. Are you serious? E even at this point, the palace is mourning? I have done everything to make her come back, but she has refused. Y you know what? Let us just change the topic, please. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. So tell me, how about your mom and your sister? Mm. They're fine. Are you trying to tell me that they sacked you guys out of the palace and you people didn't deem it fit to take your full salary before leaving the palace? It came, you want to understand. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to fight the rich? We are talking about your salary here. Your salary! How will you leave the palace without your full salary? Not even that you had any misconduct and they sacked you guys. You left here without your salary. Okay, my major concern is Princess Cambria. I don't know how she's coping with them. I don't just know. Listen to me, young woman. Whatever happens in the palace stays in the palace. We are talking about your salary here. 50,000 naira, that's a big amount of money now. How do we get it? What do you want me to do? What do you want, what do you want me to do? I'm confused. No problem. I know what to do. They cannot eat your money and go free. They cannot eat it and think that they are smart. Nobody will do that. I know what to do. He came, don't go and fight though. He came. He came. Now leave my house. Leave! How dare you? How dare you swine? How dare you raise your filthy voice at me? Have you forgotten who you are shouting at? You slapped me. You dare not! Try it and you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Take it down. Down! Do you realize who you ever shouted at? I am a princess, a royal one at that. As such, you have no right whatsoever to raise your disgusting voice at me. That with you, Ekene. I have begged you countless times to be calm with me. Be calm and be my husband. Come into my world. Let's rule my kingdom together. Forget about my sister, because she's moved on. She's moved into another royalty. I am offering you my kingdom on a platter of gold. Do with it whatever you please, as long as you were my husband. Now listen to me, Princess Somachi. I am not interested in whatever throne or bullshit you have to offer. I am not. And now tell me, why have you people turned Princess Kambili into a puppet in her father's palace? Shut up. Shut your disgusting, stinking mouth. You know, what killed the talkative is the fact that he does not mind his business. He dares poke his nose into other people's businesses. Mind what I bring to your table and not what happens in my father's kingdom. I do not care. I do not care. I 
for your information. I do not need whatever you have to offer to me, Ekene. And I would never need anything from you. Now let me tell you this. This would be the last time I am going to tell you this. The next time you try this, you would not like my actions. I promise you this. Now, I want you to leave my house. Leave now! I cannot delay Chuku. The one that I've loved so much. The only through man my heart yearns for. I don't know. I don't know the reason you have always treated me like a piece of trash. The fact that you treat me this way is beginning to get to my nerves. But what baffles me most is the fact that I see myself running to you incessantly despite all that you do to me. I am begging you, Ikene. Please, don't do this to me. Do not treat me this way. I have committed no crime other than loving you. I, I am just a woman in love. You're the one my heart yearns for. Do not push me away. Give us a chance, the Kennedy Lichuku. And I promise you, you will never regret it. I will forever be loyal to you. Just marry me. Now are you done? Spilling all the rubbish in your mouth? Please, I can't. Are you done? No. You're not done? Not yet. Now, I want you to kindly use the door. No. Peacefully. Please. Yes, you're not going to like my action no. in the next... Oh, you want to doubt me? Please. Now leave my house. Leave! Leave! Leave my house! What nonsense? What is it? Eh? What is it? Is it my first to love somebody? What nonsense is this? Tell you this for the last time. Remove your eyes, your mouth, your ears, even your nose from that palace. Whatever goes on there is none of our business. Please. Papa, did you see how they are treating Princess Kambili like a slave in her father's palace? Is it even fair? It is not our business. Mind your business. Wow. As far as I'm concerned, it is my business. And I'm going to report the, the queen and her daughters to, 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 to the elders of our land. You will do no such thing. Yes. It is not in your place to fight for them. Let the girls do the fighting. So, you're now free to come to the palace at your will. Shall we? I will come on. What do you mean, Princess? 
There'll never be a problem, trust me. That sounds nice. <laughs> Looks more like it. Oh my word. He asks us that. Are you alright? What is wrong with you? Um, what do you want? My, 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 my mother, Queen Mother, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just. I just finished cooking your, your, your food, so I, I, I served it. I said I should come and tell you that. Get out! Get out! Get out! Don't you know how to knock and say who you are? You didn't lock the door. Come on, it's nothing. Hmm? She's just a nobody. Do you understand? You think so? I know so. The food is ready. I want us to go eat and come up and rock it. <laughs> come on, mm -hmm. you, you eat first. You eat first. Let's go and eat. The lioness herself. My beautiful mother. You sure know how to take me on away. Honestly, I enjoyed what I saw today. I enjoyed seeing that girl in pain. Like I always do. Mom, I, I, I loved what you did to her. I loved the punishment. Especially when you asked her to keep lifting those heavy, heavy objects. That made my day. Was, it was a good sight to be home, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, my daughter. Yeah. Lioness begets lioness. Uh, I can see you're ready to give her a full dose of your own wrath. <laughs> I can actually say that again, Mom. Full dose is an understatement. Hmm. Unleashing is the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, come to think of it, Mom. Mm. Um, what happens if Adure gets married to King Jordan? Then you have access to the throne, not a platter. Your sister, Princess Adure, won't have any option than to give it to you. You and I know I don't trust your daughter, Mom. I don't. Yes, she's my sister, but she's so freaky sneaky. She can easily switch up on me anytime, any day, like without even caring about my emotions. <laughs> about that. I am the queen. I am surprises myself. You don't need to worry. I have everything. Everything under my control. When is she getting married to King Judah? She said so. So. Okay. I saw Ekin and his uncle here yesterday. Yeah, they came. What brought them? Hmm? What what? Brought them. Oh, that. It's nothing to discuss about. I've sorted it out with Adure. <laughs> Come off it, Mom. When are you going to stop keeping secrets from me? I didn't get that. A lot of secrets between you and my sister. Maybe you think I'm a child, but I am no more a child. I'm an adult. <laughs> Another secret. Just like you sneaking your man friend into this palace today. Shut him out. No, I would not, Mom. If you do not do my bidding, I won't shut up. Then I have to shut you up. If you make me marry the man of my dreams, 
If you help me become the queen of this kingdom, that will only make me zip it. Anything other than that. Enough! You will shut me up, man. Yourself. Don't forget your table manners. <laughs> 